If you need to add crop and bleed inside Photoshop, it will need to be done manually. Um, it's fairly straightforward doing it and um, all you're going to really do is increase the canvas size relatively to the size that you've got for your artwork and, um, and you're going to manually create some crop marks and I'll show you how to do that now. So the first thing, if you look at the image size, uh, you can see this is a standard um, UK A6 uh, if it's in millimetres, that's there's your dimensions and if we want to add uh, a 3 mil bleed all the way around the edge of this we're actually going to need to add 6 millimetres to um, our canvas size at the moment we have nothing on our canvas so we could increase our canvas by 6 millimetres um, I'm not going to do it here first thing we need to do is to use our rulers and if you haven't got those showing go up to the view menu and make sure that rulers is ticked uh, on a Mac that's command and R so PC would be control and R and once you've got the rulers there hover over the edge and click and drag down to create guides uh, right on the boundaries of your artwork or artboard um, or canvas area so that done the next thing I'm going to do is go over to image and I'm actually going to go to canvas size and there's a checkbox here um, inside later versions of Photoshop that's got an option to add um, uh, relative um, canvas size increases so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to millimeters first of all and I'm going to say relatively um, I want to add 3 mil bleed and because I need to add 3 mil all the way round I need to add 6 mil and 6 mil there so that will be 3 mil on each side of the width and once you do that you can see our canvas has now increased and we've got a 3 mil bleed the uh, guidelines show us where those crop marks are going to be and I'm going to drag an image onto the desktop and I'm going to resize that just larger than the canvas just for the sake of this just so you can see how this all works so over here on the layers we've got our image I'm going to create a new layer which I'm going to call uh, crop and what you're going to use is a um, marquee and create the crop marks and then delete a portion of it. If, you, if you're working on a very dark image you could use white crop marks. Uh, I'm actually going to use um, black crop marks on this so I'm just going to press X to switch these over. Then I'm going to go over to my single row marquee and using these guides that I've created I'm just going to click once then go to edit and stroke and I'm going to do a one pixel stroke then I'm going to do the same thing still with my horizontal single pixel marquee selected I'm going to come down here and go stroke again and I'm going to change over to the the column rather than a row marquee and clicking there same process stroking it with one pixel and onto this side finally stroking it with one pixel and we'll then press command and D to deselect okay once that's done what you need to do is to hide these guides and I'm going to do that by doing command and semicolon then I'm going to select the regular marquee tool the rectangular one making sure the style is um, normal so I can actually drag out the exact size I want and there's no feathering on it and I'm just going to click and drag over here to select a section of the crops um, I'm making sure I'm on the crop layer I'm going to press the backspace to delete inside there and then again command and D to delete that space inside and there's my crop marks up in the corners top right bottom and left and then I can go out and say file save as if you're going out to print you might want to do this as a PDF that's an Adobe PDF um, I would normally export it as a flattened
file just to keep the file size down um, unless you have a specific reason for wanting to include the layers. So let's just call this um, uh, test and say save. Now the next thing I've got here is some presets that I've already created in InDesign so they've carried through. Um, I'm going to leave it as preserving Photoshop editing capabilities because I might want to come back and open this later on in Photoshop. Um, I'm not going to optimize it for fast web preview, I want it to be the best resolution possible and I'm going to view the PDF after saving so just checking through all of this because it's going out to print um, anything over 450 pixels per inch is going to be um, down sampled to 300 which is print resolution um, you've got different options there, I'm going to leave it at JPEG and the image quality is going to be maximum and I can leave my colour there so there's no conversion of the colour profiles. I don't need to include any passwords so press save and my test PDF has been saved and that's it, that's all you need to do.